so let us see one more reaction uh, as i said <clears throat> your phenol is ortho and para directing let us do the first reaction of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions that is bromination so here i'll explain you or give you a reasoning question uh, regarding this let us see suppose in the exam <clears throat> remember two things either bromine is given with polar solvent or bromine is given with non polar or less polar solvent remember that condition suppose in your paper if you are seeing phenol and if you see this condition like this okay fine if you are seeing aqueous bromine and if you are seeing bromine in carbon disulfide remember it can be carbon disulfide or it can be chloroform it can be uh, carbon tetrachloride right or less polar solvent fine let us see what is the difference between this one and this one bromine bromine are same not a problem but here this is a polar solvent and this is i should say less polar solvent less polar solvent right Ma'am, uh, basically you have got a doubt, ma'am. Uh, whenever we do alkylation, acylation, we try to pick up uh, your uh, AlCl3, free graphs. Suppose if I am doing bromination, I would have picked up B, FeBr3, right? Normally, what we do whenever we are doing bromination reactions, we try to pick up FeBr3, which is act, which acts as a Lewis catalyst or Lewis acid. FeBr3, then we brominated. But here, what happened? Instead of FeBr3 as a Lewis acid. I am going to pick up a different solvent like a polar solvent and a non-polar solvent. Let us see what products we get and then we will do a reasoning question. Whenever you are seeing aqueous polar solvent, remember the product which you get is your phenol. You get 2, 4, 6 tribromophenol. Remember what product you get? 2, 4, 6 tribromophenol phenol why did i write this what this is one two three four five six two four six tribromophenol but as soon as you see when you see such less polar solvents like uh, carbon disulfide if i say most non-polar like uh, solvents or your as i said you can also write see uh, chloroform yeah chloroform in that if you see carbon tetrachloride any of these uh, solvents the product which you get is either Two, two different products your phenol ring you may get either ortho product and you also get para product right two different products you get ortho bromo phenol and this is para bromo phenol yes then what what is the difference then observe carefully what happens is hope you have understood this i'm not using this uh, thing why i have to reason this also fabr3 is not used as a lewis uh, catalyst here because we very well know oh is a strongly electron releasing group correct when it is strongly electron releasing group it is going to direct the incoming electrophile at the ortho position and para position then when oh is already present in the ring i don't require any lewis catalyst for allowing the electrophile to enter the ortho para so we don't use febr3 here you can also use these solvents that is your first reasoning question now i'm going to erase this and start now here now uh, you you should get it out, ma'am. Why are we getting two four six tribromo uh, uh, phenol in aqueous bromine solvent or aqueous solvent? The reason is just see whenever you are dissolving phenol in aqueous, that means a polar solvent, immediately your phenol when you are dissolving in an aqueous solvent, it will get dissociated or it will break up. You, the bond here breaks up and it forms a phenoxide ion. Remember this. What happens? It immediately forms a phenoxide ion. Now, this is phenol. This is your phenoxide ion. So, this phenoxide ion we very well know is highly or strongly electron donating group compared to phenol. Phenoxide is strongly electron donating. This strongly electron donating group immediately now because it is polar solvent, it is complete, it is dissociated and from a strongly electron donating. Now, this because of this strongly electron donating group, it will try to donate its electron here. This becomes a partial double bond. Yes. Yeah, it become a partial double bond and finally what happens double bond and double bond can't stay together this goes like that this shifts then this shifts and finally you get a site where ortho position para position and your 
the one more ortho position all these are opened up due to resonance structure right so what happens because of this finally you get an ortho para and listen and all the three are opened up that is the reason your incoming electrophile immediately goes and attacks it op and p the ortho para and uh, ortho position once again whenever you find if the question is asked whenever you find aqueous bromine why is it showing two four six products answer should be when phenol is dissolved in aqueous bromine it will immediately dissociate into phenoxide ion phenoxide ion we very well know is a strong electron releasing group and due to resonance it immediately shifts its bond and attains a partial double bond character and now we very well know double bond and double bond can't stay together so it shows delocalization of pi electrons and thus we have ortho para and ortho sites opened up that is the reason in aqueous bromine you get 246 products now let us see non aqueous or non less polar solvents here what happens we very well know as the name suggests these are less polar solvents so when phenol is taken under this condition your phenol dissociation into phenoxide not possible point number one so phenol will not dissociate so what is left now only phenol is left yeah we very well know phenol also is uh, electron releasing group but compared to phenoxide phenol is less electron means it will not immediately allow the ortho para and uh, ortho positions to open up but what it does this phenol in the presence of non-polar less polar solvents it will give us both the products right it slowly releases then again at ortho position and then after that para positions remember ortho and para both are obtained so what should you write in the presence of less polar solvents phenol ionization of phenol into phenoxide ionization of phenol into phenoxide is not possible is not possible so because of this what happens it will slowly allow the incoming electrophile to ortho and para positions ortho positions and para positions remember that so what is the major product here para is a major product so i am writing para is a major product and your ortho is a minor product again one more question why ortho is a minor product ma'am you can always see the steric hindrance here is more compared to this this is symmetrical this is steric hindrance so para is more preferred than ortho bromo or uh, para bromophenol is more preferred than ortho bromophenol so note this this may be one question with if atbrt there may be one question with this why there may be one question with this